Hi, my name is Patrick. I'm an alcoholic and addict, and this is Inside Addiction. I came from an Irish Catholic background. The family business was uh, the bar business, and uh, my father's bar was right around the corner from my house. So my father, of course, being in that business, he was stone cold alcoholic, and uh, a lot of the times, living in a house with an alcoholic, it was walking on eggshells. You know, you never knew exactly how he was going to come home. Um, whether he was either going to buy the family ice cream, he was going to be in a great mood, or he was going to come in screaming and yelling and smashing things, and you know he could even be abusive at times. So um, it has it had its ups and downs to say the least. So you were pretty much born into alcoholism, not only with your family but also the family business. Seems like the early part of your life already evolved around alcohol. Uh, yeah, definitely. There was always an abundance of alcohol in the house. Um, family parties, uh, just uh, stock for the bar we would keep in the house, cases of booze. Um, it was always beer in the fridge. It was just constant. There was always an abundance of alcohol, definitely. How old were you when you first drank? Do you remember? Um, I'm going to say I had my first like full drink probably at nine, but I would think even before that, probably like seven or eight, maybe even six. We used to have family parties. Um, you know, I'd always grab my aunt's and uncle's glasses and go and fill them up for them. And I would always sip, you know, before I'd bring it out to them, you know. And I remember even as a child, uh, when I would lose teeth, my mother would dab, when I would lose my teeth, she would dab my gums with whiskey. And I, I loved the taste of whiskey, to be honest with you. It was just, you know, and it stuck with me throughout the years. How old were you when you think your alcoholism or alcoholism became alcoholism? or it progressed to a point of a problem, you said, you know? Um, I would think that it was probably early teens was when it really started to, to uh, appear to be a problem. Uh, it wasn't drinking just to go out and have fun anymore. It, was, it started to become drinking to get drunk. And um, it, wasn't, it was times it wasn't even a social thing. There were times that I would drink alone, you know, so... Um, I would say probably early teens, like, you know, 14, 15 is when it started to pose a problem. How did you know that it posed a problem? I didn't, I wouldn't say that I actually knew at that time, but looking back now, in hindsight, um, it, I could see that it was a problem back then, at that time. But at being that age and drinking, I thought that that was kind of what you did, you know, um, being that, you know, the, the, the way my family kind of was oriented, orientated, um, Growing up with an alcoholic father, who I looked up to, uh, I wanted to be like him. So I, tr I tried to kind of live up to his reputation, and I thought drinking was just what you did, you know, um, whether I was out with a bunch of friends or just by myself. At what point did it go to anything else? Uh, I'd say probably around 14 um, <clears throat> was when uh, I started experimenting with drugs. That was uh, when I smoked my first joint, and I remember... Um, I remember exactly what it, how it was. It wasn't anything glamorous or anything like that. I wasn't at a party. It was me, my friend, Jason, my best friend. And um, we bought a joint, one joint, and we went down into a stairwell and smoked it. And uh, that was where it kind of, that was where my experimentation and leading up to abusive drugs started. Um, I would say that the first time, honestly, I didn't even feel anything. Um, but I kept doing it anyway, and eventually... I started to feel the effects of it, and I did like it at first. What'd that lead to? Um, well, it started off with marijuana, and then by the age of 15, um, I started experimenting, experimenting with uh, hallucinogens, uh, acid, mescaline, mushrooms, ecstasy, stuff like that, and uh, I pretty much did that all the way up until like probably my mid-20s. Um, but more so on a regular basis when I was when I was in my teens, probably like 15 to 17. Um, there was a period where I was I was taking hallucinogens, hallucinogens every day. Uh, I remember it was one summer that um, I ate mescaline probably I would say out of the three months of the summer, June, July, and August. I probably I probably was tripping. I would say two thirds of that time, maybe even more. It was every it was an everyday thing pretty much. It was like two days I would I would I would eat mescaline or an acid and then 
one day I would I would skip one day and I wouldn't and then I would do it for like two or three days in a row and then I would take a day off and it was funny because when I got mm -hmm. back to school that September I could actually I remember the first day even now looking back that feeling like wow I think I really fried my brain this summer and like I could see that like a lot of things had slowed down I wasn't being able to comprehend things as well as I used to and uh, I definitely saw, saw the effects of it when I went back to school after that summer. And did you stay in school? I did. Um, I did stay in school. Um, I did graduate barely, but um, yeah, uh, I really didn't pay much attention to school. I was more at school to party than to pay attention to to my teachers and to actually, you know, go to class and stuff. And uh, I was it was more of a party to me. I didn't really miss a lot of school. I liked going, but I liked going because I got to see all my buddies and I got to hang out and I got to drink and I got to get high and. Uh, that was really what it was for me. It was just one big giant party. At what point did it go from like uh, doing acid to anything else? Uh, I'd say probably, I think I was 18, like I had just turned 18. Um, I was drinking in the bars. Uh, being that, being that um, we owned uh, a bar, the bar actually was located um, right on the corner of the street of where my high school was. So everybody, um, that I hung out with knew that it was my family's bar and um, it sort of uh, it was I actually liked it you know I liked the attention and, and stuff like that and uh, I started going in and drinking there when I was 17 so it was like right after I got out of high school I was basically I didn't really care about going to college or anything like that I didn't even have a job at the time and I just all I wanted to do was go in that bar every night and drink and get high and that was where I first started experimenting with cocaine and um, being that uh, my father had died when I was 17, um, I didn't have, he was really the enforcer in the house. So now that he was gone, I didn't have really anybody to worry about as far as getting in trouble for anything. You know, my mom was sort of an enabler and didn't really enforce too many rules on me because I think she knew that she really couldn't in, in, in a way. Like she, she, she was aware that I was going to just do whatever I was going to do. And no matter what she said and um, yeah I was probably about 18 and I remember I was in the bar and the same thing I remember the first night I did it and it was not anything glamorous and I remember I was drinking um, at the bar all night um, mixing beer and all different types of liquors and <clears throat> uh, a friend of mine uh, got some cocaine and we left the bar it was late probably like 4 35 in the morning <clears throat> and we he chopped out the lines on the back of on the back of his car on the trunk of his car and i just uh slammed down three huge lines and i just vomited everywhere and that was it everybody went home and i walked around the neighborhood for like three hours wired out of my mind with nowhere to go i had no money i had no cigarettes and i was just like what am i doing and it seemed um sort of silly and ridiculous to me but i did it i kept doing it anyway i, I don't know why i was like i felt like well, maybe it'll be better next time, you know, and um, I just kept going with it, and it started escalating into even other things, you know. Look what? Um, I started smoking crack, and I was sniffing heroin, and uh, I would say probably shortly after, um, it was very shortly after I first started, ex when I first experimented with cocaine, um, that I started getting into the heavier stuff like smoking crack and, 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 and snorting heroin. Uh, it was probably within like a six month period. It was very fast and um, I, I, the, the area where the, the school and my, my dad's bar was located uh, was in um, Long Island, which was uh, right on the borderline of actually Queens and Long Island. So the city was very close for me. Um, I could drive into Queens or Brooklyn within like 15 minutes. So a lot, it started to bring up a lot of trips you know, 